What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamimo here and once again welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all Welcome to episode, oh dear, 5 <laughs> of my uh, Gothic 3 playthrough uh, The playthrough of uh, Balear slash the Hashishin And uh, guess what guys, guess what, my money was on the bank account after 9pm after all the stores are closed so uh, I could still cannot eat but you know I'll survive till tomorrow morning slash evening but still sucks nevertheless because uh, I was certainly hungry but there is a little I can do about it so let's go to Monterra and uh, start doing the questing there and uh, beat the game ASAP as I would like to say It's a bit unfortunate, you know, here in, uh, in the city that I live in, we do not have 24-7 stores. Um, all the stores are closing at about 6 p.m. and grocery stores, etc. are closing about 9. So, <coughs> at exact 9, my cash was, you know, deposited on my bank, which is uh, a bit of... of a bit unfortunate if you will this is the fact that the stores are already closed and thus I cannot get myself something to eat well there are cafeterias and such where you can get eat uh, where, where, where you can get food you know um, like uh, fries and whatnot pizza but uh, those are relatively expensive and I'm not that rich so I am going to do another day of Ramadan well, not 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 quite. You know, it's not that I do it on voluntarily basis, but uh, I have little choice. I like to call it Remeldan, which means uh, if you can't eat, then you gotta, uh, you know, pass. Not quite sure what the uh, correct word for it is. I'm not a Muslim, you know, so it's not Ramadan. But, uh, it's something in between. It's a j Dutch joke, you know. We In the, in the Netherlands, we call it Remeladen. Because of the fact that, you know, you can't. If you don't have the money, you cannot get eat food. Food. Well, you know. <laughs> I'll be alright, you know. Am I skinny? Yes. Do I eat a lot? Yes. Uh, so therefore, there will be plenty of fat in my body. Even though, if you would see me, you know, walking down the street or something, you wouldn't say that I got, you know, fat or whatever any kind, or that I eat much. But I actually do, I eat a lot. I think I eat more than a fat American. Well, not nearly, but... Given, you know, the opportunity, I can eat quite a bit. It's not that I want to brag about it, but it is true. You know, I can eat quite a lot. Um, but that is due to my survival instinct, you know. One hit and nearly dead. But it's what I call irony, you know. I've been walking the entire day, um, back and forth, back and forth, in order to check if my money was on the bank. And calculated on 9 p.m. when every store is closed, it is on my bank. The irony. <coughs> Just like the irony of that much damage from a boar. Excuse me, excuse me, sirs, I need those bundles of weapons. 
I am quick looting, good sir. Uh, yes, indeed. Can I uh, set that to fire? I also need some f some fried meat. Wonderful, thank you, guys. Hey, you! What are you doing, sneaking around? Oh, I thought I was a ninja. I thought I was invisible, man. Shit! They saw me. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a basket here. Well, basket, a casket. A golden casket, to be precise. Excuse me. For the king. Yeah, right. You're awfully brave. What do you mean? You won't get far talking like that with the orcs occupying the area. We rebels can be recognized a mile away anyhow. You should treat us with a little more respect. Otherwise, you'll end up like the desert merchants. What desert merchants are you talking about? If you follow the road to the west, you can still see their old stuff lying around. We robbed them and drove them off. Where are these desert merchants now? <laughs> they ran all the way to Montera. It would be better for them if they stay there. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a message from our man in Montera. Your man? We planted a spy in among the mercenaries. He's supposed to let us know when the right moment has come to start the revolution. Will you tell me more about your spy with the mercenaries? Just because you haven't killed me yet doesn't mean I trust you. That would be too easy. You robbed the desert merchants? Oh, yes. And how. But before you get any silly ideas, we already took everything to Okara. Tell me more about Okara. You'll learn about that soon enough. Believe me. If you say so. I want to join you. Then prove it. For days, one of those stupid mercenaries has been hanging around our meeting place. He's disturbing our communication with each other. Make him go away. Where is your meeting place? On the hill south of Montera, there is an old ruined tower there. Yeah, I'll take care of the uh, lazy bugger ass mercenary. But at least I'm not grumpy anymore since my uh, money has been. Uh, po uh, uh, how do you call it? Posted, noted, uh, whatever. You know, the money is on the bank. That's for, that's for sure. So I'm not grumpy anymore. It's still, you know, a bit ish grumpy ish. You know, due to the fact that I cannot eat, due to the fact that the stores are closed. But hey, at least I got money. Beat it, you worm. Taking a little break, huh? Shouldn't you be watching the slaves or something? Why is that any of your business? Leave me alone. Get back to work, or I'll report you to your superiors. Oh, will you? Ha! I'm shaking in my boots. Just go away, you loon. This hill ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna report you to your superior. Will he be pissed? But I'm not quite sure whether that guy will watch over the slave. So it, just to be sure, I'm gonna take the sl uh, you know take care of the slave guards ahead of uh, before t talking with uh, Marek or whatever his name was. But first, where do you pop up from, eh? Hey you, what are you doing sneaking around? Sneaking around? Looting like a boss, sir. Stop making such a commotion, or the orcs will spot us. You rebels are dangerously close to the city. We would take the whole place by storm if we could, but unfortunately the orcs outnumber us. We probably wouldn't even make it to the temple complex. We already had one of our men infiltrate the orc mercenaries, but somehow he hasn't achieved much so far. What is your mission? 
I'm looking for a way to get rid of the slave camp guards so that we can help the slaves. But unfortunately, the orcs will raise the alarm as soon as they notice anything suspicious. We don't stand a chance fighting them in the open. There are just too many of them. Too many orcs in the slave camp? We can change that. And just how, Mr. Know-it-all? If those slave camp guards come running all at once, we're done for. One would have to pick them off one by one. Who is your spy among the mercenaries? If I tell you that, I might as well give myself up to the orcs right now. First, I would need some proof that I can trust you. What's the problem with your spy among the mercenaries? We've done a lot of damage to the city lately. The orcs haven't noticed, but the mercenaries have become more cautious. Therefore, I assume that our spy is lying low so he won't blow his cover. I will think of something to lure the slave camp guards away. <laughs> Those orcs are better at using axes than their brains. But they aren't that stupid either. Wait and see. Now this will be worth watching. Indeed that it will be. Now despite the fact that I'm gonna join the Hashishin, it's always good to make connections. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Completing as much quests as I can for mere XP. Can't you see I'm busy? I need your help with a really big reptile back there. Ha! <laughs> you weakling! Where is the beast? A few yards down the south road. Out of my way. Let a master deal with it. Go ahead, master. What's wrong? Can you hunt? I am an orc. Of course I can hunt. Well, I don't know. I'll prove it to you, you greenhorn. All right. I saw a couple of big reptiles down the south road. I'll get them. Just watch me, Mora. Oh, will this be worth watching? <laughs> oh, will they little know? Now you're going to bleed. Am I good or am I good? Hey you, what are you doing sneaking around? Healing sir. Just healing, relax. Alright, so let's get the other two. Your boss is looking for you. What does he want this time? No idea. Ask him yourself. Where is he then? He's waiting for you away down the south road. All right, I'm going. Now if you kill those orcs yourself, they will start to notice, so let the rebels deal with it. One of your slaves ran away. What? Where? Down the road, to the south. I'll take care of it right away. Good. Never 
<laughs> because as I shin, I work on two sides. Well, in every play, I work on the two, on all sides until I have to make a choice. You see that? The rebels. Kill him. Now you're going to bleed. Now you're going to bleed. Oh, that was not very nice. That was my XP, sir. Let him have the fun. I'm just gonna loot. And uh, try to get the last hit. Yeah! Kick his ass! A fight! Woohoo! Kick his ass, man! Die! You showed him. I've still got it. Hey man, you still got it. Well, that were the orcs. The slave camp guards are gone. Great. So the right time to storm the city has almost come. Carry on like that, mate. Bet you can use a few gold coins, right? Always. Who is your spy in Montera? He will reveal himself to you when you tell him our password. The password is Long Live Okara. Really? Just don't ask. It wasn't my idea. I see. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is our rebel headquarters. It is located north of Montera. You should drop by there sometime. We can always use people like you. I bet you do. Now if you excuse me, I got a uh, meat to fry. Two pieces of meat. Wow. Not really worth it, is it? Oh well. Well, good day to you. And uh, both. Alright, so let's uh, deal with a pack of wolves. It's located in that cave, I will do them later, once I got the quest, you know. But, uh... I th I'm not quite sure what the guy's name was when it comes to the mercenary. But uh, on one of the farms you have to kill a pack of wolves. And uh, you can find those pack of wolves in that cave over there. I will do it later, like I said, normally. In my other two playthroughs, I did it before going into Montera. You know, those two caves. Well, that cave on the two parts. With this one, I will do it once I get the quest legitimately. But uh, either way, it doesn't really matter, so you know what? Mm, yeah, let's first go into the city. Maybe we can find a statuette of Belear. Probably not. But, uh, either way, well, let me see by the way, I need 200 strength for that one, and 220 strength for that one, and 200 hunting. <coughs> Alright, so this guy will also go bow, that's obvious, due to the fact of the hunting, because uh, that hunting is nearly this one, well this one at the very least, 225. So those have become more expensive as well, when it comes to uh, alternative IE. Ah, a 
new man. You've come in the nick of time. What are you doing here? I'm watching the slave. But with these crappy conditions, it's no fun, let me tell you. There's always something new. Supply problems, slaves run away, and I don't know what all. Damn it all. I just want some peace. Do you need help? These emaciated figures all look the same to me. I can't make heads or tails of it anymore. You should take a closer look at the boys and tell me who needs to be exchanged. I'll find you a slave. Fine, but don't take too long. Won't do. Come on, relax. I'm no front. Go back for work. Go back to work. That's right. Now Bradley is not coming out yet, so can't steal his his slave list. <sighs> my goodness, I'm working my ass off here. I hope my relief gets here soon. What's a short break worth to you? Oh, man, I'll give you everything I have if you get me out of here. All right. What have you got? I found this artifact here. The strange chalice. I would let you have that. Hmm. You say you found a chalice? A fire chalice, maybe? What do I know? I don't understand these things, pal. You can take a break. Go to the stockyard. Thanks, friend. I'm already on my way. Wait a moment. You forgot something. Oh, yeah. Here's the chalice I found. Have a nice day, friend. You too, sir. Enjoy your rest. When is the relief finally coming? I'm going crazy here. What will you give me if I get you out of here? But I don't have anything. What could I give you? Tell me something about your overseer, Bradley. Bradley does his own sleazy business here in the camp. Every slave here wants to get out to the farms. Nobody wants to work in here. Bradley has this list. If you're at the top of Bradley's list, you get to go to the farms for a while. That damn swine makes us pay to move to the top of his list. I see. Today is your lucky day. You can go to the stockyard. Thanks, my friend. I couldn't stand it here much longer. You're very welcome, sir. I took care of the slaves. So I see. I'd have done it differently, but whatever. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. Go tell Dennis from the stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. Now it can be one or two slaves, doesn't really matter. So the, unlike the other two playthroughs, I'm gonna get one of them back to the, uh, you know, to the uh, excavation site, if you will. How can I be of assistance? Fresh water, new tools, unused torches. As long as the gold is right, I can get you anything you want, stranger. Show me what you've got. Certainly. Just tell me what you need. Show me your goods. Well, at least you have some lockpicks.
let me just sell those spell scrolls. They're not really and damaging if you get my drift. Unless you have permanent mana capabilities of it. Uh, boar skins I don't need. Claws I don't need. Um, no, the wolf skins I do need. I need about 20 of them. Uh, keep the teeth, by the way, if you want to make uh, sharp arrows. At least I can get some gold. If the world is corrupt and gold you trust. Have you come to mock me too? Uh, excuse me? What's eating you? Seems like you haven't heard about my encounter. I come from the desert and was traveling through the land with my caravan. Those cursed rebel dogs ambushed me outside the city and took everything. What did you have? Valuables, rarities, luxuries, artifacts and jewelry. What misery. If at least I had my old gold casket. It is of inestimable personal value to me. Where exactly was the ambush? If you leave the west gate of Montera towards Trellis, you will see my old stuff lying there. Assuming the rebels have not already plundered it all, Tell me more about your artifacts. I know what the orcs are seeking. Why they are digging throughout the land, hoping to find it. The divine artifacts of the ancient ones, my good friend. And I swear to you, I held one of them in my hands. But now it is gone and out of my reach. Forever. What do you know about the divine artifacts? You mean, other than the fact that the orcs are looking for them like mad? They are of inestimable value on the open market. That alone is enough. How did you get a divine artifact? Let me put it this way, my pale friend. While others perish in the sands of the desert in the sweat of their brow, I used my head. Or plainly, I was simply faster than the others. Who has the divine artifact now? Are you listening to me at all? The rebels ambushed me. If anyone knows, it is those cursed royalists. Why well, see? Here is your old gold casket. It was still lying in the road to the west with your other stuff. You son of a dog. That is fantastic. I will richly reward you for this, my pale friend. Show me your goods. At least you have an ancient tablet, and you got some vials. Uh, well, there's not much impact from those. A staff of defense. Will you look at that? Um. Thank you, sir. Now, I'm not gonna read those stone tablets yet. I will read them later. You look thirsty, stranger. Give me something to drink. No problem. Is there anything here besides booze? Depends on what you need. Every piece of information costs five gold coins. Although we could just trade. What'll it be? Show me your goods. Always get the pickaxes until you have about 21 of them in total. One for yourself and 20 for Vanguard the capital. Uh, cheers. Tell me something about this city. Montera is a trading city, and how could it be otherwise occupied by the orcs? But the orcs mostly stay inside the castle. The orcs' mercenaries rule the outer districts of Montera. This is the merchant quarter of the city, but don't expect too much. Since the orcs started digging up the whole city, very few merchants have found their way to Montera. How do you get along with the mercenaries? Well, so so. Marek is the leader of the troop. If the boys cause any trouble, Marek gives them a rap on the knuckles. Where do I find this Marek? His hut is diagonally across from the bar, but he's also often found at the inner castle gate. Who leads the orcs in this city? His name is Varek. So far, I haven't laid eyes on him myself. 
Up to now, he hasn't come out of the inner castle yard. Is there any work to be had here? A fighter like you should join the mercenaries. That's probably best for you, and makes you a lot of gold. The real fat cats in the city, of course, are the orcs. But for that, you have to be tolerated inside the castle by the orcs. Tell me more about the excavations. Wherever there are ruins of the ancient ones left, the orcs dig up everything they can find. Who knows what they're looking for? I've heard that meanwhile there are excavations like this in almost every city. Well, thank you for your information, sir. Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. You're watching me. I bet you do. A new delivery? Put it with the others. Are you the warehouse keeper? Your stupid question. You can see that. It's no bed of roses, let me tell you. When everything is running smoothly, nobody's interested in what I do all day. But if anything is missing, they all panic right away. Do you also sell your wares? Sure. You only need to ask. Do you need anything? I need 15 sacks of wheat from the grain farm to the north, and I need them fast. What do you think will happen here if the others don't get any more bread? What else are you missing? You won't believe it, but I still need five milk barrels from the stockyard in the west. Really? Well, like I said, the job is no bed of roses. Yeah, well, that's putting it lightly. Any other belly aches? I think that is all I need in the way of goods for now. Well, that's a comfort. Why don't you go and get the crap yourself? You have to help us out a bit. Who says I want to? You'll do the right thing. I'm sure of it. It doesn't matter. Long live Okara. You bastard. Where did you pick that up? Talk! I'm working with the rebels. How did you know I wouldn't kill you right away if you told me the password? I didn't know that. You sure are lucky, pal. I am the rebel contact here in Montera. When will you rebels strike? That depends on what you have to tell me. Why me? I've seen a lot of men, but no one I would trust to lead a revolution. You've got the right stuff. Unfortunately, you're working for the wrong side. What do I have to do so that you will free Montero with me? In my position as warehouse keeper, I never even get inside the castle. If you should manage to completely infiltrate the orcs, we can talk about this some more. Worm your way into the orcs' confidence until they admit you to Varric, the orc leader. Only if we can get to their leader do we have a chance of winning the battle for Montera. I see. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is the central rebel camp in the Midlands. I absolutely have to make contact with Roland, the leader of Okara. Unfortunately, I can't leave here, but you can. Can you take a message to Roland? Give me the message. I'll take it to Okara. Good. Here it is. But don't get caught with it, all right? Show me your goods. Now, even though I work for the Orcs as a shishin, I will make sure that that uh, message will be delivered because of the fact that I'm working on both sides, not just one. But you will come about that about late game. You will understand the tactic then. If you want to buy weapons or learn smithing from me, you'll have to pay for it, Mora. Here's some gold. Now will you trade with me? Tell me what you want. Show me your goods. So the blueprint is actually cheaper? Well that's funny. Well I don't need that one yet. Are you serious? Good 
Greetings, stranger. Why have you come to me? Who are you? My name is Sobata. I have the honorable task of providing for the continued presence of slaves in this city. Do you need help? Help is always necessary for someone like me in this city. As a rule, all the good fighters here are just lapdogs of that Marek. No one has the courage to work on his own initiative. What about you, stranger? What do you need? Despite my razor-sharp attention, two of my slaves have escaped. I would like to get them back. I assume that they would pose no problem for a strong fighter like you. You need a man with fighting strength to bring back a broken-down slave? Well, the case is somewhat more complex. Marek just grabbed a slave right out from under my nose and gave him to one of his people. I knew there was a catch. The fellow who owns my slave now is called Dan. He is a gladiator in the arena. I see. Tell me more about your lost slaves. One of my slaves now works for the orc smith Thoric. Marek assigned him to the fat orc for cleaning services. He's my property, and I want him back. Now, the arena part I cannot do yet. I totally forgot there was one slave when it comes to the arena fighting. But I can't do that one yet unless I get myself two one-handed capabilities. Well, dual wield one-handed capabilities. Are you lost? I suppose the orc guards by the castle gate don't stand around there for no reason. Certainly not. Don't even think of simply stumbling into the castle yard. The orcs will attack anyone they don't know in the inner ward of the castle. What does that mean? It means that you have to render outstanding services to the city before they accept you. Only then can you move freely among them and talk to their leader. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Who are you? My name is Merrick. I'm the leader and trainer of the mercenaries in Montera. If you cause any trouble here, I will be held responsible, and that would be very bad for you. Get it? Have you got anything for me to do? There's always work for a mercenary here in Montera, but I have a very special task for you. They barely know your face in town. That's a huge advantage for you. How come? I can use you against my own people, and they won't make the connection. I see. You want me to work as your spy. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you feel like you're too good for a job like that? I don't think you've got a choice, really. You distrust your own people? <laughs> Why would that surprise you? Take a look around. Every one of these nitwits thinks of nothing but his own profit. If we cooperated with the orcs a bit more, we'd all be doing better in Mertana. Fine. I'll work for you. Wise decision. Then let's not waste any time. Fine. What exactly should I do as your spy? Lately, there's been an increasing number of strange incidents in Montera and on the farms. Goods are stolen, slaves disappear, farms are raided, and so on. All of this stinks to high heaven of rebels and treason. I want you to find out who among my people is reliable and who isn't. You'll be well rewarded with gold and notoriety, and I will teach you how to fight. I'll be in my hut by the western entrance to the city. About the mercenaries. One of your boys is shirking work. Let me guess. It's Trano again, right? This is the last time. Go tell him I'm cutting his pay. Bradley's fleecing the slaves. I know. The slaves will pay gold to get on the rotation list. And Bradley passes this gold on to me. Are you sure that you see all of the gold? No, I'm not. I need to have a look at that list. Now, of course, I will not tell him about the traitor because that would mean that I have to kill Sanford. <clears throat> and despite the fact that I'm an assassin, I will work on both sides of the coin in order to infiltrate both sides. From Khan to King Robar as well. Which will be a very difficult task indeed, but not impossible. How should I test the loyalty of your people? No idea. Talk to them, work for them, befriend them. 
How you do it is not your problem. Got it. I'll see what I can do. A rather unfriendly mercenary named Dominic told me to report to you. Ah, yes. He told you that? Oh, well, you're here now. Do you know anything about Zardis? Yes, he managed to stop the war. The way he stopped the rune magic was a good idea. He's a brilliant man. I'm glad he's not my enemy. You seem to like Zardis. That's saying a bit much, really. I know next to nothing about the Dark Mage, but I like the idea of finally ending this eternal battle between orcs and humans. Zardis seems to play the key role in this. He's got big plans for the orcs. Well, I don't find that very reassuring. Whatever. Despite everything they say about him, even Zardis is only human after all. Where can I find Zardis? I don't know where the mage has made his home. They say only the orc shamans know his true location. As far as I know, some of the most important shamans of the orcs are in Geldern and Sylvan. But I don't know all that for sure. I'm only a human. Well, I see. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, and uh, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified on all the uploads that I do, and uh, I hope to see you guys in episode 5, part 2, at least I think it was episode 5, um, where we will continue the questing within Monterra, within the certain boundaries that I have to play. Which means, you know, I cannot get the slave from uh, the gladiator then. Due to the fact that I'm personally not going to fight in the arena. Until I have a dual wielded swords. Because of the fact that I want to keep the stuff arena fights for my hardcore run. So that every playthrough has a bit of uniqueness touch into them, you know. If you're looking for a, a specific different guide. Um or walkthrough of let's say the human orc mercenaries or the rebels you can find both of them on my channel already and uh, if you do like the videos smash that like button so that once one video uh, well once 100 likes in total have been reached divided by the six games that the gothic series has as well as the fact of the three paths each game has which means that you have 18 videos in order to get 100 likes so it should be child's play but if you want a hardcore run that's the way to go and uh, i hope to see you guys in a part two of this particular playthrough where we'll continue this area and completing as much as i possibly can again within the boundaries that i put myself into due to unique gameplay you know um, so thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell smash that like button if you want to see a hardcore run which means beating the game from beginning till the end the entire series um, without dying a live stream um, which of course I will cut and upload to YouTube afterwards but only if it's successful because if it's not successful then well it's no point in uploading it does it but uh, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in uh, part 2 of this episode where we continue completing the quests of uh, Monterra. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day, have a great night, have a great sleep, have a great life in general and uh, live to the fullest my friends because life is short, different um, from each person obviously, but uh, you gotta live like it's the last day on this planet. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.